Buenas noches, compañeros. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Let me see, Frank. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening, everybody. How are, How are you? you doing? I'm very fine. A little cold. Yeah. It's... Right. It's kind of cold today, right? Very good. Okay. How was your day, and, Frank? And very busy, very busy. A little, okay. several things to do for today, and I think that that I made it. I'm All very, right. very fine for that. And how was your day? Cool. Teacher. Well, um, it was really tidy and actually was really busy, but um, still, I think I, I'm okay, right? So, yeah. Mish, mission accomplished. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, Thank fine. God, we're almost done, right? <laughs> okay, let me say hi to Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Um... Un poco con sueño. <laughs> oh, you're a little sleepy. <laughs> yes. Especially for the weather, right? We feel like going to sleep. <laughs> for el clima, right? <laughs> okay. No, ayer eh, tuve un problema, no me pude dormir temprano. Y... Oh, you got insomnia. That's pretty yeah. bad. Entonces duele el cuello. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Sunma, good evening. Fine. Very good. Great. Okay. How was your day? Mm, excellent. Nice. That's very good. Aren't you cold? Um, ¿Qué me dijo? Aren't you cold? No tiene frío. <laughs> ah, sí. Yes. A little? Okay. Yes. Dalia Ramos, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? Great. I'm fine. Thanks. So how was your day? Very good. Uh, tired day. Oh, I bet. Okay. So thank God we made it through, right? We're here. Jose Manuel, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, good. good. How was your day? Uh, good, good day. You had a good day. I'm glad to yes, hear that. It was, it was all right. Yes, yes. Thank you. And you? Nice. I'm good. Just fine. Oh, very good. Thanks for asking. Dalia Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening, Miss. Good evening, How are you everybody. Doing? Kind of cold. <laughs> okay. And tired, uh, I bet. Yeah, very tired. Oh. That's why I'm not so sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we all yeah. are like that, right? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, trying to learn. 
Good. Do better English. Yes. Right. Excellent. Arnoldo. I'm, I'm okay. Good evening. Okay. How are you, Arnoldo? Uh, excellent day. Sorry, Arnoldo, I couldn't hear you. Can you repeat that? So, how was your day? Se oye, se oye una, una distorsión bien feo. Me dolieron hasta los oídos. It's, do you all hear that? Or is it? Sí. No sé. ¿Se escucha? Uh, ¿Se escucha bien? Can you tell me? There's a lot of noise here. It's because um, today we're celebrating our. Go. Right. So yeah, I'm having a little trouble with the connection, I guess. And also, there's a lot of noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, there is um, fireworks here because it's the fiestas patronales. Se oye un golpeteo. Yes, that's why then. So I I thought you couldn't hear it. But. Uh, so it's the fiestas patronales here uh, in where I live sí, and they're uh, celebrating outside. So <laughs> sorry, I apologize yeah. for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that's okay, what's happening. Okay. Um, <laughs> my dad is, well, my dad is uh, uh, good. I don't, I don't know you. Okay, perfect. My day was busy, but fine, fine. It was good at the end. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yesterday, uh, no, when I no pude estar aquí presente, verdad? Por uh, me tocó un día demasiado pesado. Me acosté y cuando vine a despertar ya eran las nueve, verdad? Okay, so um, let me just tell you that when that happens, um, you can come to the class late. Remember that the attendance is um, is taken into account depending on the minutes you are connected, right? So it's fine if you come late for some reason. It's it's okay. No hay ningún problema si se une tarde está bien la asistencia aún okay. le cuenta por los minutos que está conectado. Entonces aunque venga a media clase Siempre le va a contar en cierto modo, ¿verdad? No va a tener asistencia oh, completa, oh, pero okay, sí le okay. contaría. Entonces, si alguno de repente tiene algún inconveniente y necesita unirse tarde, no hay ningún problema. Está bien que vengan a la media clase o algo, siempre y cuando no sea todos los días, right? So, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Carlos, good evening. <laughs> How are you? Uh, oh, so, uh, oh, so what happened? Yes. How was your day? Uh, a lot of things to do. Uh, it's uh, work uh, very hard in the work. <laughs> oh, okay. But I am happy because I am staying in my house right now. Yeah. yeah, you're home. You made it this time. <laughs> Thanks. That's good. Um, Maria Carmelina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Excuse me? How are you today? How are you today? Um, yes. How are you, Carmelina? I'm fine, teacher. Great. How was your day? Mm, I had a good day. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Susana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Me escucha. Yes, now I can hear you pretty clear. Ah, ah. Okay. Oh, good. Fine. All right. Nice. And how was your day? In the morning, I went to the work. The work. 
and I saw passions. In the afternoon, I go to, to the gym. Yeah. Okay, so your day nice. was good. Great. Yes. Yeah. see, I think I have, oh, Rafael Alexander. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, fine. Right? And how was your day? Uh, bastante tranquilo. <laughs> was quiet, relaxing? Relaxing. Yes. Okay. All right, that's great. So um, let's start with our class. Let me see what we got for today. Oh no, give me a second. Excuse me, just give me a second. I cannot get my presentation for some reason. Let me check. Oh, goodness. Right, so let me tell you that I made a mistake here and I do not have my presentation. I didn't save it, it seems. So this is pretty sad. Sorry, okay, vamos a tener que, que utilizar una presentación en blanco and yeah, let me just teach this way because I had a problem with my computer and um, yeah, I do not have my presentation, my gosh. I didn't realize that before. So uh, I apologize for that, but let's continue with the class. All right, so let's start by reviewing what we studied yesterday. So what do you remember? What do you remember about yesterday's class? The rules are about uh, plural endings. Um, okay. So, first of all, the topic was? Um, exactly, exactly. Present simple verbs. Exactly, we studied the simple present or present simple. Okay, so what do you remember about the simple present? First of all, we talked about the verbs. What happens to the verbs? Yes, sir. What happened? We ese al final cuando termina en verbs. Okay, so we had s verbs for all the persons or for which ones specifically? Uh, the third person. The third the person, ones right? There are rules. Yeah. And what's the third person? What are the subjects that are included in the third person? Most she, there. We got he, she, he, she, it. And it. Right. So we only change the verbs whenever we are using one of these subjects, right? He, she, or it. Now, tell me, uh, what else do we have for the rules? To the most of the verbs, we had S, but we also have some special verbs, right? Yeah. Ending S, 
C H S H or X L E S. Okay, so to some verbs we add E S, right? For example, do you have any examples of the verbs that take E S? He study, he studies. And that one studies. goes in the other role, right? For I E S. Oh yeah, yeah. That's um, good. Let's include it here. It'll be like um, wash. He wash. It'll be he washes. Okay, good. So we got wash. becomes washes. Okay, yeah. let's add an example in the first rule to tell me about a verb that only takes s. Yeah. So give me an example of a verb that Another takes one. only s. Um play. He play. 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 Right. It takes S. Okay, good. What else do you remember about yesterday's class? Ending in consonant plus Y. Change Y to I. And R. Okay. So that is the case of study, right? We got study and then we drop the Y. We change it for I. And we add ES. Oh, yeah, we have There's exceptions. Much noise here, sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, live I live downtown, so that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all celebrating the Candelaria, right? The Fiesta de Candelaria. <laughs> okay, so let's continue by um, practicing the verbs in the chat. How about we all open the chat? and we make a list of verbs so please write a verb that comes to your mind just whatever verb you can think of and you write it, it in both the base <laughs> form and the third person form so let's make a list of verbs everybody open the chat oh, we do something like this let's see Learn. Learns. You got one for me. Can you add some more, please? Very good. We got shop, shops, sleep, sleeps. What else? Talk talks. Scream, scream. other verbs so you know so how about let's see think about more verbs more actions okay we got stay stays uh -huh. speak speaks uh -huh. other Draw, draws, yes. Fall, falls, okay. How about the verb cry? Cry. How do we change it to the third person? We can catch catches, cry cries. Great. We got another example in that category, which is try. Make makes, fix fixes. Okay. 
Um, any other verbs you can think of? Great, great. Okay, we also have brush brushes, steel steels. Continue practicing and the verbs later in some exercises. Now let's remember about the simple present statements. So what can you tell me about the affirmative statements? He dances. Huh? Let's remember. How do we make affirmative statements using the simple present? The noun. Okay, so the, first we need a verb, subject. Uh, subject. Uh, and verb. verb. Simple present verb. Plus complement. And then the complement, right? Okay, good. Now tell me some examples, please. Uh, he plays soccer. Plays soccer. He plays soccer. Okay. Any other examples? Um, I write some stories. Repeat that one, Frank. I write some stories. I write some stories. Okay, let's make another one. Let's use they. Make another example, please. They sing opera. They sing opera. Make another one using you. You play in the park? Play in the park? Good. Now make another one using she. It dances a ballet. Okay, which one are we missing? We. We celebrate our English class. Celebrate our our English class. Okay. So we celebrate in our English class. Now let's make one last one using it. Excellent. So now let me ask you to make your own sentences. I need you all to think about a sentence. It could be any sentence that comes to your mind. I'll be asking each of you, okay? You have to make a sentence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Dalia Ramos. Can you tell me an example, please? Um, with it? 
with whatever subject you want. Okay. And I drink the bird. Say I drink beer. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Sulma, can you make your example, please? He works in the capital. He works in the capital. Great. Rafael, you're next. Rafael, check your microphone, please. No, I... No. Okay, so don't worry. Think about it. If you get one, let me know. Lisette, do you have another example? Um, she goes to the park. Excellent, Lisette. Ronald Albert, can you make another example, please? Okay, can you make an example of a sentence using the simple present in the affirmative form? Un ejemplo de oración con el simple present en la forma afirmativa. No, pero no me no. Okay, hey, don't worry. We'll continue practicing. Carlos, do you have one? He runs in the park. He runs in the park. Perfect. Tony, hear your example. Take your microphone, Tony. Uh, sorry, Miss. Uh, I don't know. Um... Oh. Don't worry. If you do not have one, don't worry. Let's just continue practicing then. Cecilia, can you make one? She shops in the supermarket. She shops in the supermarket. Great. Um, Maria Carmelina? Issue. She sings in the theater. She sings in the theater, okay. Now, Susana, can you make another one? He goes to school every day. He goes to school every day, great. Frank? Check your microphone, please. Plays violin very well. She plays the violin very well. I plays violin. Okay, great. And Sulma? Um, um, she swimming fine. She swims well. Say there. What? Okay. She swims. She swims well. Very good. Arnoldo, you have one. Uh, she always goes to work the bus. Okay. She always goes to work on the bus or by bus. Very oh good. Gosh. Dalia Margarita, can you provide another example, please? She enjoys fireworks. Good. Yes, as Miss Lily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susana. Oh, no, you already participated. Okay. I think everybody did. Okay. Now let's talk about the negative statements, right? And uh, what do you remember about them? What can you tell me about the negative? Uh, 
Uh, we need to use uh, the root node for does not. Okay, we got two different the subject. verbs. Yeah. We got... Use do not in I, you, we, and they. Exactly, we use do not for I, you, we, and they. Use that not, doesn't not, does not, or what subjects? He, she, it. He, he she, and, and it. it. Okay, and then we also have some contracted forms, right? What are the forms that we get? Or does not, we may say. Uh, yes. Verb in the base form. We say doesn't in the contracted form. No. Doesn't. Yes. And for do not, we have? Don't. Uh, don't. Don't. Okay. All right. So now, Dalia, you were telling me about the structure, right? So yes. once again, we start with a subject. Then what do we have? Plus, uh, do not or does not, and verb in the base form. Okay, we use do not or does not. Then the verb in the main in the base form. Base form, yes. We do not add any s or anything. We just keep it the way it is. And after that, we only add a complement, right? Yes. Now let's make some examples. Can you think of some of some sentences? Using the negative form for the simple present. She doesn't take a nice selfie. It doesn't take a nice okay. selfie. Okay. All right. I don't speak Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, he does not eat in the morning. Can you repeat that one, Jose Manuel? He does not eat, eat in the morning. He does not eat in the morning. Okay, anything else? They do know. They do not go to the mountain. They do not go to the mountains. Okay. He doesn't square the report. He doesn't what? <laughs> square the report. <laughs> square. Is the square. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it doesn't fix uh, um, much the report. <laughs> It doesn't, doesn't make um, much in the report, kind of. So, what do you want to say? Well, he doesn't. Cuadrar el reporte. Cuadrar el reporte. Oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> difficult to say in English, I guess. Okay, I'll, I'll look for it and I'll tell you later. Because I really have no, I mean, yeah, because cuadrar, it could be fit, for example, but in another sense, sí, cuadrar, podríamos decir fit, como, pero sería más como de quedar, eh, como de quedar en un espacio, or something like that, so, yeah, let me find it out, I'll, uh -huh. it doesn't conciliate. Conciliate. Okay, so I'll check it for you and I'll tell you later because I don't really know. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Uh, so let's continue making some other examples. He doesn't. He doesn't. Superhero. He doesn't. Let's say watch superhero. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any other? Uh, it doesn't work. 
It doesn't work. Let's make one using we. We do use sweater. We don't wear. We don't, use, we don't wear. Okay. Very good. So that is what we have for this simple present in the negative form, right? We use does not or do not in the contracted forms doesn't or don't. And then um, something important to remember is that we use the verb in the base form, right? Here, yeah. even though you are using she, you do not add any S to the verb. You say she doesn't take, she doesn't take. Okay. So let's continue by talking about the interrogative form or the yes, no questions. For the yes, no questions, we got, again, two different auxiliaries. The first one is does, and the other one is do, just the same that we have for the negative, except that we do not add the not, right? So we use does for what subjects? He, she, it. He, she, and it. it. And we got do for? I, you, I, we, they. we, they. I, you, we, and they. Okay. That is the first thing. Then another thing to keep in mind is that we start the questions with do or does. For example, when I say, do you work every day? Do you work every day? Then the structure, the structure that we use for the simple present questions is the auxiliary verb do or does and what is the next element? Uh, subject. Subject. After the subject, there. the there. verb in the base form once again. Base form and complement. And then the complement. And the question mark, which is also really important. Okay. So here we have an example using do. Let me provide another one using does. Does he? Here we got does he do exercise on Mondays, for instance? Also, let's say, do you check your cell phone? In the morning, um, let me provide another one. Does she practice volleyball? Do they travel to Europe, for instance? Can we make some other questions? Give it Does a try. Does she love her dog? Does she love her dog? Any other? Do they go to the party? Do they go to the park? Okay. Any other? Um, do we? Okay, let me provide another one. Do you write poems, for instance? Do you play video games? Do you play video games? Great. Okay. Do we study? Do we study? Japanese. Yeah, great. Do we study Japanese? 
And then how to answer the yes, no questions. Do you know how we answer? Yes. For example, um, the first yes, one no. we got. Yes, he does. Does he do exercise on Monday? We say yes, he does. Yes, he, he does. does. Or no, he does. He doesn't. He doesn't. Great. In the next one we have, do you check your cell phone in the morning? Do you check your cell phone in the morning? How do yes, we answer? I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or no? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Does she practice volleyball? Yes, she yes. does. She yes, she does. Or no? Yes, she, she doesn't. doesn't. She doesn't. Do they travel to Europe? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. They do? Or no? They, they don't. don't. They don't. They don't. Okay, does she love her dog? Yes, she does. Yes, yes she, she does. does. And in the negative, it would be? No, she no, doesn't. She doesn't. No, she doesn't. Do they go to the park? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes. No, they yes, don't. Do you grade poems? Yes, yes, I, do. I, yes do. I do. Yes, I do. No, no, I don't. No, I, don't. I don't. Okay, do you play video games? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. Yes, no, I do. I don't. No, I don't. No, no I, I don't. don't. And the last one, do we study Japanese? Yes. Yes, yes we do. We do? Yes, we do. No? No, we don't. We don't. So that is what we have for the, quest the yes, no questions in the simple present. So remember, we use two different auxiliary verbs. Das is for he, she, and it, and do for I, you, we, and they. Then the structure that we follow is, first of all, we, we start with the auxiliary verb, do or does. Then we got the subject, he, you, she, they, we, or whichever subject you are using. Then the verb, the verb goes in the infinitive or in the base form. So we do not change it. We do not add any S or anything. We got do, check, practice, travel, love, go, write, play, or study. And then we got the compliments, right? In order to answer the questions, the only thing that we have to do is to say yes or no. And then we mention the subject, he, I, she, they, or whoever we're talking about. And what? then okay. you add does for the yes no for the yes answers, does or do, and doesn't or don't for the negative answers, right? With no. Do we have any questions, any doubts about this? No questions? All right. So let me send you to the breakout rooms so you get some exercises and you solve them together. Let me show you the practice for today. So here we got exercise number one. We have to complete the questions using the correct auxiliary verb and the verb in parentheses. And here, do not take into account the two, right? That is just to indicate that we're using the infinitive, but we do not use it in the, in the question. We say, for example, in number one, do you drink mineral water? Do you drink mineral water? 
That's what you have to do yes. with all of them. Yes, I do. Very good. Then exercise number two, we have to make some questions with the prompts that we are giving with this information. For example, number one, how would it be? Do you like cake? Do you like cake? Do you like cake? Then when you get all the questions, you have to practice asking and providing short answers. So you go, for example, Susana, do you like cake? Yes, I do. Very good. That's what you have to do. You ask and answer the questions. Then we got exercise three. We have to form the questions and then write short answers in both affirmative and negative. So here we got they dance in the parties. What's the question? Do they dance in the parties? Do they dance in the parties? And then you write, yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay, so that is what we are going to be doing. We're going to have, let's see, 20 minutes to solve this. So let me send you to the breakout rooms and I'm sending the practice to the WhatsApp group. There we go. Ya. abriéndolo a ver si en Word lo mando, ¿verdad? sí sí Okay, empezamos. Demonio. Exercise one, complete the question using the, the correct auxiliary and the verb in the parentheses. Bye. Bye. Number one. Um, sería, do you drink mineral water? Sí. Okay. Does she? La segunda. Does Sara? Does Sara? And Linda? No sería do. Ah, no, es does. Es does. Sí. Porque In that de... case. 
we are using two subjects, right? Sarah and Linda. So if we must replace them for a sub for a subject pronoun, which one do we choose? Do. Do. Mm -hmm. Do? Yes. Do Sarah. Do Sarah and Linda. Uh -huh. Do Sarah and Linda. Peter, sorry. Cuando estoy diciendo él y yo, no va a ser das. Cuando estoy diciendo él y yo, like, um, let's say, José and I, that uh -huh. me, right then it's a we. We. Ah, we need okay. to. Okay, okay, we say, yeah. uh, sería nosotros, ¿verdad? We. Yes. We. Eh, to Sara and Linda feed their pants. Sí. La número tres. sería your teacher, your, your is. Say, uh, does your teacher? Mm. No, do you? You no. do, do. Do you? En este caso es, ter es tercera persona. Es como eh. ustedes, ¿verdad? Yeah. Mis tengo duda. Tell me, tell me. Eh, you mm. is their person. Oh. Um, you. Your sure. your your what? Your yeah. what? Did I say your? Your teacher? The teacher. Oh, your teacher. Then you're talking about she. Your teacher. Ah, it's como decir she. Yeah. Your teacher. She ah. or he in any case. Ah, okay, sería, does your teacher check, check your homework? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do they live, live in, the in the old house? Sí. The Casaria do, verdad? Uh huh. Como he? Do the cat. Do the cat. Uh huh. Do the cat sit. Sit on the wall in the morning. Uh huh. No sería, does the cat? Mm. Porque es el gato. Y. Es... Eh, he, she, and it does. Is do. Does. Does. Ah, sí, he, does. she, it, does. He, yes, you, sí. we, it, they, it, do. Correct. Does, she, does, the cat, sit mm -hmm. on the wall in the morning. Yes. Okay. La siguiente sería Das, das Nina sí. Play computer das games yes. yes El siguiente And the, and the your parents and, and example and your teacher 
Um, similar, but that. we're talking about parents. Parents, it includes two people, right? Mom and dad. Do you parents? So we say do because that is a day. Um, okay, thank you. All right. Do your parents watch TV in the afternoon? Yes. Do your parents? Yeah. Do, do your parents watch TV in the afternoon? And example eight. Do. Do your grandmother? Yeah. Do your grandmother yeah. answer the phone? That's correct. Does Andy? Yes. Yes. Go to the shopping. Does Andy? Uh -huh. Does go Andy do? Do the shopping. Let's go to and Gary and Ken. Yes, say, say that's the is to do. Do do yes. Do, do Gary and um, Ken. Do do the shopping. Do Gary and Ken. Do, do Gary and Ken. Hard better. Have a cup of tea in the afternoon. Have a cup of tea in the afternoon. You make it at nine. Is does or do? Does. Does. Does Andy? Does Andy? Does Andy? Ah, does Andy? Does Andy? Do the the shopping. Okay, okay. Y la diez sería do. Yes. Do Gary and Ken. Yes, to have a cup of the of tea in the afternoon. Okay, this is 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 that. That. Okay. All right. I'm sure they should be. Nine. Uh, I'll say it. ¿Cómo? La número 9, ¿cuál sería? La 9. Do. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Es he, él. He. Es que ah, okay. das. Primero das tienen que ver el sujeto en la oración. Y el primer sujeto es el. Das, perdón. El verbo. Uh -huh. okay. Andy. Andy. Solo sería do ahí, ¿verdad? Does Andy do the shopping? Yes. Hizo Andy las cosas. Karen, Ken. ¿Cuál sería ahí? Ahí es do, porque está hablando de ello. Sí. Uh -huh. En la vida van, ¿verdad? ¿O vamos? Sí. ¿Eh? Entonces, ¿tú, Gary and Ken? ¿Cómo te cook? ¿Cómo te cook? ¿Cómo te cook? Abandonaste por un momento. Sí, hombre, que no, no tenía contacto con la información. Sí. Esa es todo la, la dos, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, vamos con la dos. Hay cuestión. Aquí lo que podemos hacer es, Carlos, preguntarle a Susana y así vamos la, el círculo. Y Susana que responde, después le pregunta a Zulma y a Zulma mía. ¿sí? Preguntarle la primera, entonces. Eh, primero sería hacer la... La oración. La pregunta. Pero... Exacto, la pregunta. la pregunta, perdón, exacto. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo quedaría la... la... Do you like? Do you like? Do you like cake? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y Susana le responde porque tiene que responder. Yes, I do. Hoy Susana le, 
Zulma. La dos, Zulma. She live. No. Uh -huh. She das. live in. Does she live? Does she live in London? Uh, the, uh, no. Yes, she does. Mm. Yes, she does. Tiene que responder. Uh, esto tiene no, que ser doesn't. positivo. Oh, ajá, respuesta corta. Yes, Entonces, she does. Yes. Oh, no, she doesn't. Ah, cualquiera de las dos. Ah, bueno. bueno. ¿Qué responde todo? Yes, she doesn't. Eh, mm, no, yes, no. she does. No. Tendría que ser. Yes, she Solo does. Yes, no. yes, she does. She mm -hmm. does, exacto. Una Para... pregunta a la tercera a mí. Cuando es uh -huh. yes, no le pone eh, doesn't o don't, porque te está diciendo sí, Ese no. Ese es negativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, no, le está diciendo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. Zulma, entonces me pregunta la tercera. Sí. Um, do they have study? No, they don't. O yo pregunto, Carlos... Do you drink tea every morning, Carlos? No, I don't. Muy bien. Eh, yo le pregunto a, a, a ti, Frank. A Susana. A Susana. Eh, Sam, do you smoke? No, I don't. Digo la verdad, mentira. Ah. Vamos a ver, hoy le pregunta a Susana. No, a las 4 de la tarde. Yeah. Después del café, a ver, cerrar, va. Yo le pregunto a su a Zulma. ¿A mí me van a preguntar o yo pregunto? Susana, a usted le voy a preguntar. Ajá. Ah, ah bueno. en las seis vamos, ¿verdad? Exacto, las seis. ¿Does he play tennis on Saturday? Yes, she does. He. He. Ajá, yes, she does. Hoy me preguntas. Yes, he, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Yes, he, does. Mm, la séptima. Do you go, do you go shopping at the weekend? No, I don't. Hoy yo le pregunto a Carlos. Que sincero, Carlos. Vamos a ver, do you drink alcohol? <laughs> oh, no. no. A little bit. Ah, yeah. In the party. In the party. Yeah. Yeah. Muy bien. La nueve te toca, uh, Susana. Ok, Susan. Eh, ¿Does work in the office? Yes, she does. Ah, ok. Eh, Ahora yo va. Yo. Ajá. Suma, does, la does they, uh -huh. Do they uh, study French? Study French. Um, oh, Suma. No, ahí muy bien. Do, do, do they study French? Uh, yes, they do. Puede responder. Yes, they do. Ajá. Bien. Ah. Yes, they do. Ahora me pregunta la once. Vale. Uh, do you meet your friends on Friday? Friday, perdón. Yes, I do. Hoy sigo. Do you read a lot? A lot, Carlos. Do you read a lot? No, I don't. Ah, uh, read a little bit. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Studying. Sería con algo así, ¿verdad? Studying. Yes, studying. 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 Oh. Entonces, um, eh, tendría que responder. Do. Yes, I had the student. Why don't 
In the short answer, sería yes, I do, or yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Rafa, si quiere, pregúnteme a mí para hacer el, el círculo. ¿O podemos completarlos con la Miss. Okay. Hi, Miss. Hi. Yes, I'm here to help. Yeah. So, do you have any questions? Any doubts? No, teacher, and we practice the question in the exercise too. Yes. And you also provide answers. So it will be, for example, I asked Carmelina, do you like cake? Yes, I do. All right, that's what you have to do. You make the question, you ask it to somebody in the group, and you get an answer. Okay. Um, Alfonso? Yes? Uh, do you drink uh, tea, tea every morning? Every morning? Um, La cuatro. Sí, es que la compu se me está deteniendo. Ah. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I do drink tea every morning. Okay. Si quiere, pregúntele usted a cualquiera de grupo. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver. Y, um, Rafa, do you, do you smoke it? No, I don't. Okay. Rafa, puede, puede decir no, I do not, o no, I do not. I do, si fuera así, ¿verdad? Yes, I do. En el... uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Si quiere preguntarle a alguien, practiquemos la última si quiere. La última, este... Vamos a ver, esta puede ser para usted. Eh, eh, María es, ¿verdad? María Carmelina, sí. María Carmelina, sorry. Um, puede ser <laughs> María. <laughs> Do you, uh, no, pero vamos a llevar el orden, no los hemos sorteado, porque aquí estoy viendo una que puede hacérsela a usted. Ah, cualquiera. <laughs> Está la de. Do you see, uh, does she, does she work in an office? Or in este caso sería, does Carmelina Gosh. work in an office? Yes, I do. Corta, yes. solo así, yes, I do. Y una larga sería, yes, I work in the uh, office. ¿Verdad? Miss? Yes. Howdy. Sure. So you say um, you're working on what number? Oh, number nine, right? Yeah, number does nine. she work in an office? And you can answer yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Or we could also use the long answers, right? Like, yes, she works in an office, or no, she doesn't work in an office. Okay. okay. Yes. Next. Rona. <laughs> uh. She working in an office. Esa es la que estaba diciendo. Sí. ¿Cómo era? 
Sí, esa, la número nueve. Yo, uh, yo salido, no. ¿A mí? ¿O a quién? Perdón. Si quieren, practiquémosla tal cual está en la pregunta para no confundirnos. Para no confundirnos más. Ajá. Si quieren, va, por ejemplo, yo pregunto, eh, they study French? No, do they study Entre todos responderíamos, yes, I do. Eh, yes, I do study. Sería yes, eh, they do. Yes, I do. Yes, they do. Ajá. Nothing more. Oh, no, uh, they... In negative. Not. Uh -huh. they, they, don't. Don't. they don't. No, they don't. They do not. They do not. not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you meet your friends? Um, How are you doing? Okay, we finished. You're done. Okay. Well, Arnold, Arnold almost. Okay. He started later. We kind of. Good. Do you have any doubts about the exercises? Um, in the one, for me, sounds like weird. And the exercise three. Uh, wait. Do we are? Do we are? Are they cool? Yeah, oh no, they are cool. No, correct oh, that is, one is. Do they are cool? No, in that case we're using the verb be, so we only say are they cool. Uh huh. Okay. Are they cool? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because it sounded like. Yeah, Real it's for not me. correct. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I was checking about the thing that you told me, you and who was that one, Carmelina, I think, about the report. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it says square a report or also balance a report. So, yeah. oh, that balance. I, oh, uh -huh. It doesn't balance. Yeah, wow. it's it will be like he doesn't balance. It doesn't balance uh -huh. um, the report. Okay. Thanks. Right. And the other one the is the eight. And they uh, they are Austrian. Do are they Austrian or do they? Yes. Are they Austrian? Are they Austrian? Are they Austrian? <laughs> In the six, también. Six. Are we? Uh -huh. Do we are friends? Uh, are they? Are we? 
Are we friends? friends? Are we friends? Mm -hmm. Are we friends? En la dos, ¿verdad? Means de que easy es, do you like? Number two, in what exercise? Three. Uh, three. 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 Exercise three. We live in a big city. Do we live in a big city? The no, before. Two. Number two. Exercise two or no. I like reading no. books. Is so that the one? Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. we say, do I like reading books or do you like reading books if you want to change it? Okay, do I like uh, or do you like? Okay. And, and the other one for me was okay. Does the paras do? I'm okay with that. Right. So we're getting back in just a minute. Okay. Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, did you finish the exercises? Yes, we do. You did? Good, and do we have any doubts, any questions about the answers? Let's see, exercise number one, for example, do we have any questions about it? No. No? Okay. Let me just clarify that here, for example, when you have two different subjects, let's say, Sarah and Linda, you got two people. So that is a they, right? Therefore, you need to use what auxiliary, do or does? Do. 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 So in this case, we say, do Sarah and Linda feed their pets? Do Sarah and Linda feed their pets? They're girls, right? But it doesn't matter because they are, I mean, we're talking about the plural, Sarah and Linda, they are two people. And here also your teacher, your teacher would be replaced for she or he in any case. So that will be third person. We say, does your teacher check your homework? Does your teacher check your homework? And let me see in other, um, also, yeah. this one, parents, remember that it includes two people, right? It's plural. So it's mom and dad. Therefore, you need to use do. Do your parents watch TV in the afternoon? And here we have another example similar to the one that we had with Sarah and Linda. Gary and Ken, they. So we say, do Gary and Ken have a cup of tea in the afternoon? Exercise number two. Do we have any questions about that one? Tengo una duda, Miss. Okay, tell me. Eh, en, en los ejercicios primero, eh, yo me equivoqué eh, un poco porque decía a la par de lo que está en paréntesis. 
to y eso eso no se ocupa o por qué aparece ahí you don't use it it's just to indicate that you have the verbs in the infinitive form el infinitivo en inglés se maneja de esta forma to sit to check to fit mm. Pero en realidad no se utiliza. En este tipo de estructura no se utiliza solamente el verbo. The ah, verb infinitive, we call it. Solo para indicar que es un infinitivo. Exactamente. Mm, vaya. Gracias. Ok, no puedo. No. All right, so exercise number two. Do we have any questions about that one? Any doubts? Maybe not. Okay, and exercise three. Any doubts? No? All right, let me just clarify here. We got some sentences with the verb be. For example, this one, they are cool. Remember that in those ones, okay. we do not use do or does. We only say, are they cool? Are they cool? We do not need to use do or does in this one. We no. also have number six, we are friends. What would be the question? Are we friends? Yes, are we, we say, friends? are we friends? So whenever you have the verb be, you use that one for making the question. You do not add any auxiliaries, any do or does. We don't do that, right? Over here we have they are Austrian. It would be are they Austrian? And for all the other verbs like play, eat, listen, and any other verb that you can think of, you use the auxiliaries do or does, but not for the verb be, okay? Are we clear about that? Any doubts, any questions, anything to add? Yo no entendí, teacher, eso, perdón. Okay, don't worry. Let me explain it again. So I mentioned that we use the auxiliaries do or does for making questions in the simple present, right? For example, yeah. in the case of they dance in the parties, what would be the question? What would be the question there? In number one? Yeah. Do in they in the parties? Do they dance in the parties? Okay, the second one, I like reading books. Do you like? Do you like reading books? And then we get these ones that go with the verb be. Luego tenemos estas oraciones que van con el verb be en um, mm -hmm. las formas am, is, or are. Para estas recordemos mm -hmm. que no necesitamos ningún auxiliar. Utilizamos siempre la forma del verb be que tenemos. Entonces acá oh. ya no necesito agregar um, do or does. Solamente utilizo el R que ya tengo acá. Cambio el orden de los elementos y me va a quedar la pregunta como are they cool? Teacher, sorry. ¿Y yes. si le ponemos do they are? Eh, o sea, yo sé que está mal, pero sería como decir que. Um, yeah, it's incorrect. You cannot use it that way. Eso no... no, yo sé, está mal, pero... Pero cómo se sería como decir que en español. Um, oh, it's hard to even translate it. Ni siquiera se lo podría traducir porque, o sea, es una estructura que no no tiene validez alguna, ¿no? Okay. Ajá, entonces recordemos eso. El verb be igual incluimos en estos ejercicios algunas oraciones con el verb be porque les decía yo este es el simple present para el verb be. Lo que sucede es que el verbi siempre es un verbo muy especial, entonces tiene sus propias formas. Tanto que tenemos am, um, is, or are para el presente, ¿verdad? Tenemos tres formas diferentes para el verbi en el presente, mientras que para los demás verbos tenemos 
eh, lo que les he explicado, ¿verdad? Los auxiliares, do and does or don't and doesn't para el afirmativo y, y para las preguntas. Entonces, eso hay que tener en cuenta. El verb be es diferente, es especial. Entonces, las preguntas van de esta forma. Y para todos los demás verbos, utilizamos los auxiliares, do or does. Está bien. Gracias. Ok. All right. So now let's talk a little bit about daily routines. So tell me about some of the activities that you do every day. For example, in the morning, we all wake up, right? We wake up. Then after we wake up, we... What do we do next? Take a my kids. Okay, so let me add one before that one. We get up. Then we brush our teeth. After brushing your teeth, what do you do? Take a towel. Take a shower. What else? No, it's a Wash. Mm -hmm. Lunch. Take a shower. You also get dressed. dressed. I get, get dressed. I get dressed. dressed. Uh huh. What else? Get your hair done. Get your hair done. Uh, makeup. Okay. You put on make makeup. Then go to the gym. <laughs> Go to the gym for the fitness people. <laughs> yeah, it's a, right. It's an example. <laughs> it's an example. No, uh, really. <laughs> okay, okay, so what else do we do? We also work, right? We work. Yeah, drink coffee. Or study. We drink coffee. Very important. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have breakfast. Um, anything else? Eat bread. Eat pandusa. Eat yeah. sweet bread. <laughs> what else? How about watch TV? Yeah. Get mad with music. people. Mad <laughs> <laughs> with people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. English. English. Learn English. Yeah. Good. Uh, read the mails at work. Read, read the mails. My mails. And then get mad again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because people are annoying, right? <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> what? Read the news. Read the news. Like the newspaper. Like to work. What is it? Try to work. Try to work. Okay. Then let's talk about some things we do at work. What do you do at work? Drive. To manejar. Drive. Meet with the friends. Okay. <laughs> Meet with your friends, okay. Get mad again with people. <laughs> Once again, okay. <laughs> All right, so you meet your friends. Now, um, maybe most of you make reports at work. Yeah. And make some calls. Make check, some calls. Check social Good. networks. Check social networks. Doing the chelas. <laughs> <laughs> Drink beer. Maybe on the weekend. Why I haven't been there. <laughs> okay. Anything else we may add? Oh, um, I think we added have breakfast. Yeah. So let's add here lunch and dinner. Maybe some of you may add like some like play with my kids. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Or what? Help my kids to do homework. In the house. Like do the dishes. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. Uh, the family help in time, you in time with my family uh -huh. mm -hmm. all right so we got a list of the different things we do and oh let's just add uh, at night we go to bed right or we go to sleep to bed or sleep. Okay. So now let's practice it. Please repeat after me. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. 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 Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. Get dressed. Get, Get dressed. Get your hair done. Get, Get your dry. hair done. Put on makeup. Put, Put on makeup. 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 Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Work. 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 Study. 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 Drink coffee. Ring. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have dinner. Have, have dinner. dinner. Eat bread. Eat bread. bread. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Listen to music. Listen to music. Learn English. Learn English. Learn English. Read my mails. Read my mails. Read the newspaper. Read the newspaper. Try to work. Try to work. work. Try to work. Drive. 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 Meet your friends. Meet your friends. friends. Make reports. Make, make reports. Make phone calls. Make, make, phone, make calls. Calls. phone calls. Check social networks. Check Check social social networks. networks. Drink beer. Drink beer. Drink beer. Play, with my kids. Play with my kids. Play with my kids. Help my kids, kids. Help my kids to do homework. Help my kids, Help my kids to do homework. Kids to homework. Clean the house. Clean the, Clean the house. house. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Dishes. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. Spend time with my family. Spend time with my family. Spend time with my family. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Sleep. 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 Okay. Um, are we clear about the meaning of all those phrases, all those expressions? Yes? Then let me just clarify this once. Wake up and get up. So remember that wake up is when you are sleeping, then you wake up, right? You open your eyes, let's say. Then you get up. That is when you stand up, right? You get up. So that will be the difference. And then also here, oh, we got get your hair done. Remember that uh, a simple way to say it would be brush my hair, right? Brush my hair, I brush my hair. Or brush comb my hair. My hair. My hair. Or comb my, my hair. Comb. Yes, that would be brush, brush. cepillar, comb, peinar. Mm -hmm. And all right, so now that we have all of this vocabulary, let me give you the chance to practice it by talking about your daily routines. 
how come? We are going to go and work in small groups once again, and we are going to ask and answer questions about our daily routines. For example, it could be, do you wake up early in the morning? We could ask things like that. Do you wake up early in the morning? And then you say, yes, I wake, uh, I wake up at seven every day or at five, just whatever time you wake up. Do you have to work every day? Or do you go to work every day? Then you give your answer. Do you usually drink coffee in the morning? And so on, right? So you ask and answer about your routines. Is that okay? Are we clear about it? Okay. All right. So let me send you to the breakout rooms again. And we're having 10 minutes to practice. We are working in pairs or trios. Tres, habemos. Tres. Sí. En mí. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <coughs> eh, ya tienen copiado eso, ¿verdad? Porque en eso vamos a trabajar. No. Tony. Eh, no, estaba prestando un poco de atención. O sea, eh, Liz. Hi. A screenshot. Um, sure. Let me send it to WhatsApp. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, my internet is so slow. <clears throat> Ay, sí, estoy sintiendo lo duro de la semana. Ay, apenas es martes. <laughs> Es que eso acostarse esa noche y levantarse temprano no va conmigo. It's hard, right? Miss, entonces vamos a hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes, you have to ask questions about your daily routines. Mm. Yeah. Eh. Era con las preguntas que estaban escritas. Yeah, using the phrases. Eh, Let me... uh -huh. No, tomé captura de pantalla. Don't worry, I'm sending you pictures right now. ¿Ya los tienen? No, ¿verdad? No han enviado todavía. Ahorita va uno. Yo sent one. Ajá. Ah, sí. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Yeah, wake up, get up. Bye. Esas personas no eran guerreros. Okay, now you have the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Eh, podemos, para hacer las preguntas podemos apoyarnos en el, con el traductor. Um, you shouldn't. No deberíamos porque el traductor no nos, no nos ayuda mucho. So maybe you can try to use the, the phrases. Tratemos de utilizar el vocabulario, las frases que ahí tenemos, por ejemplo. Um, como van a estar preguntándose mutuamente, decimos, do you wake up early, for example? Do you wake up early or do you wake up at six? Do you wake up late every day? And then, um, for example, do you brush your teeth three times a day? Do you brush your teeth three times a day? Ahí solamente utiliza el do you. Luego, una de las frases que hemos hecho, la parte del vocabulario, y después puede agregar algún complemento, si cree que es necesario, dependiendo de lo que estemos preguntando, right? Uh, for example, uh, you start, um, every day. Can you repeat that one, Soma? Do you study every day? Do you study every day? Yes, that's a good example. Oh. Mm -hmm. Entonces, quizás Tony dice porque algunas palabras no las entiende. Usted decía eso para traducirlo. Sí, más o menos. Es que eh, um, con algunas sí tengo un poquito de problemas. Ok. Mm. Si tiene eh, consultas, menos... dígame y le ayudo. Okay. Es que el... Mm. A oh, ver, el por... traductor nos ayuda para... Así como este vocabulario, si sí lo puede traducir ahí y va a ser bien. Pero para pues que me quiera, haga, ¿no? por ejemplo, la pregunta, no, no nos funciona. No, okay? no funciona. Uh -huh. Pero pues, vamos a ver por lo que he entendido. Eh, en el caso de la... Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, diez, nueve, cuatro, catorce. Number 15. Uh, number 15. Do you, listen, do you listen to music of the. Um, Puedo utilizar cualquier nombre de. de, 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 de Any uh, singer. In Spanish? In singer? Singer, cantante. Ah, ok. Um, Do you listen to music uh, of the uh, uh, Linkin Park? <laughs> the group? Do you listen to Linkin Park's music? Podría uh, decir la si escucha música de música de Linkin Park. Do you listen to Linkin Park's music? To Linkin Park music. Linkin Park's music. Yes, remember about the possessives. Oh. And it's good. Okay. That's the way you make the questions. So keep on asking and get some answers. A ver, sigan practicando, háganse preguntas entre ustedes y las van respondiendo. The idea is that you can answer them too. Miss, ¿qué significa wake up? Wake up, wake up despertar. Get up es como levantarse. Yes, get up, levantarse. Ok. Entonces, para decir cómo despertaste este día, puede decir, do you wake up eh, this day? ¿Y cómo despertaste? Ok, in that case, you would need to use how. Ya no sería una pregunta de yes, no, sino que una WH. Utilizando how, how do you, but it sounds weird to me. No sé, me suena un poquito rara decirlo así en inglés. Eh, pero en todo caso podríamos decir, how do you wake up um, in the morning? Or something like that. Sí, es una pregunta. Sí, porque yo sé que en español solemos eh, preguntar cómo amaneciste ahora, right? 
Sí, But sí, in sí. English, it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. Si lo traducimos, realmente sonaría muy, muy raro. Creo que no lo entendería. Alguien que hable inglés no lo entendería. Yo hablo español y me cuesta entenderlo así nada más. <laughs> Entonces, para emplear esa, esa palabra, ¿cómo se podría utilizar si, si pero, como dice pero, que significa pero, despertar, verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se puede emplear en una pregunta? Por ejemplo, do you wake up early in the morning? Se levanta temprano por la mañana. Mm, yeah. Early in the morning. Or do you wake up at 6 a.m. every day? Se levanta a las 6 de la mañana todos los días. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Miss, one question. Tell me. Uh, in the Spanish. Okay. In, uh, sorry. En caso, bueno, voy a hablar eh, por mi persona. En caso de que, así como los temas que tenemos ahorita, bueno, así como yo tengo problemas con algunos temas, eh, de esto no tendríamos como un refuerzo adicional. Un refuerzo adicional, eh, For pues, example, bueno, seguro. dígame. Eh, bueno, yo por lo menos en la clase de ahora creo que estoy un, ando, ando un poco más despistado de lo usual entonces ahorita sí como que me gustaría volver a ver todo el video nuevamente en YouTube pero uh -huh. sé que voy a quedar igual otra vez ah ok, no, no se preocupe igual tenemos las tutorías del día miércoles, mañana nos toca entonces ya tenemos la organización, así como les asignaron el miércoles pasado, tenemos otras personas para el día de mañana, pero si usted gusta, podemos gestionar ahí para dejarle unos 10 minutos y podemos ahí clarificar algunas dudas. Sí, porfa, porque yo sí necesito okay. un poco de colaboración con eso. Sure. Thank you. Bueno, entonces veamos si podemos hacer algunas ahí. Sí. Uh -huh. ah, vaya, eh, con la primera. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta que hacer ahí o la formamos entre todos. Si gusta, la formamos entre todos. Es un gran Digo, porque, ah, oh, bueno, sí, sí. Sí, porque la verdad, eh, ahorita no se me viene más que los ejemplos que nos dio Lili. Um. Pues, uh -huh. eh, de Gerard, no sé si, um, no sé si, si será correcto decir, do get up at five o'clock. Do you get up at five o'clock? Yes, it's fine. ¿Qué me respondería usted, Tony? Si le pregunto, do you get up at five o'clock? Do you get up? Eh, sería... Me pregunta si me... Le... Si se levanta a las cinco. A las ocho. Le cinco en punto. Cinco en punto. Una respuesta corta podría ser uh, yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do, do. ajá. Sí. O oh, si es no, ¿cómo me diría? Eh, no, I do not. Ajá, o <ríe> contracta. No, ajá. No, Vaya, sí, la vamos a ir haciendo todos. Ajá. Ay, yo decía que era malo. <ríe> <ríe> Ah, por lo menos ya le pegué a una. Ajá. <coughs> ok. Ma no sé, ahí este Ronald, si nos escucha. Quizás ya se desconectó, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, ya no respondió. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces sigamos, este Tony. Sí. Eh, Pruebe usted a hacer la segunda. Vamos con Brush My Teeth. Ok. Lo siento, estaba haciendo una necesidad. Vaya, bueno. está perdonado. No problem. Ajá. 
Bethany. Dime. Eh, Tal vez puede formular usted la pregunta de brush my teeth. The brush, brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. Formule una pregunta. Okay. What is brush? ¿Qué? ¿Qué es brush? Puedo utilizar cepillarse los dientes. Ah, cepillarse los dientes. Se sí, uh, do you... Yo creo que puede quedar así, solo do you brush, do you brush. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine. I would say do you brush your teeth or also you could say something like do you brush your teeth three times a day, for instance. Te cepillas los dientes tres veces al día. Or do you brush your teeth using Colgate, for instance? <laughs> <laughs> so you could just add whatever compliment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to get back to the main room and don't worry about it. We are keeping on practicing and reviewing this topic, okay? No se me preocupen, vamos a seguir siempre practicando y vamos a seguir con los repasos del día a día. Así que ahí vamos a ir agarrando poco a poco. Bueno, gracias, Miss. Thank you. In a moment. Okay, so we're back. How was the practice? Were you able to make some questions and answer them? I guess so. Were you able to make some questions and answer them, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, so now let's take a couple of minutes to work on the students' manuals. So please everybody go to your student's manual, page number 23. We are going to work on these exercises. So exercise number one says, as a classmate, what he or she does every day of the week at his workplace. So let's practice that here with the whole group. Let's see, Dalia, can you tell us three things you do in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Dalia Margarita. Um, okay. Well, I do reports. You make reports? I, what else? I get mad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I do phone calls. All right. You make phone calls. Good. And yeah. Dalia Ramos, how about you? I do... Mm. Check the person. Okay. What else? Check the person. Perdón? What else? ¿Qué más? Um, check the incapacidades, ¿cómo se dice? Check the absences or... Um, check the absences. And reports of financials. Okay. Make financial and reports. Financial report. Check this. Uh, um, check the payments. Okay. Check, check the um, ass assistance. All right, very good, Dalia. Thanks okay. for sharing. Now let me ask, let's see. Who else? Arnoldo, can you tell us about some things you do at work? Arnoldo Morales? Uh, 
do do your night report uh, uh, work uh, the work um, okay. and in, in, in installation como dice installation or uh, installation uh, uh, o o mantenimiento Maintenance. 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 Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Um, let me see. Let me ask one more person. Lisette, what do you do at work? Um, I do financial reports. You make reports. Okay. What else? Um, I make Payment to um, how do you say proveedores in English? Proveedores, let me double check it to the providers. O providers. Providers. Pro providers. Mm -hmm. I make payments to providers. Okay, interesting. All right, so now let's continue with exercise number two. We have to read the information about each person's activities at the workplace. So we got Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. Here are the things that they do. They create software, they repair computers, they install antivirus. Then they don't sell computer, they don't sell computer programs and they don't exchange information about programs. And about Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto, what they do is that they keep track on the sales, they write reports, they buy new merchandise, and they don't receive money from sales, they don't decide what to buy. Then what we have to do with that information is to answer some questions that we have here. So please, everybody take a minute to answer the questions and then we share the answers, we check. So we have to go, for example, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? What do you say? Do they work with softwares? Yes, they do or no, they don't. Mm, no, they not. They do not. Let's check the chart. So it says Nelly and Oneida create software. So what would you say there? Do they work with softwares or not? Do no, not. Yes, they do because they create them, right? So we could say, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Next one. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? What do you say about that one? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Are you sure? So once again, check the check the information. It says no, they, they install antivirus, right? So they don't. So we say no, they don't. No. No, they no don't. Okay, number three, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Do they get money from sales? Mm. No. So it says don't, right? Don't, don't. receive money from sales. So the answer would be? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, no, no. Um, okay, so let's stop over here. And I want you to complete that as homework, please. 
So please complete the exercise by answering the other questions. And also you have to complete homework number seven in the platform. So that will be the homework, complete page number 20, or oh, what number is it? 22, 23, 23. You complete page number 23 and you work on homework number one, number seven, goodness. Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Thank you very much for participating. Take care, everybody, and have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good